What's up YouTube and Facebook? Blue Dooley out on a gorgeous Monday down here in the Snake River Canyon around the Auger Falls area. Mine and James is kind of favorite go-to place to do some wheeling bashing. And today I'm going to take a little bit different approach because I brought out my ECX 118th scale Torment 4x4. Now you might be asking yourself why would you go trailing with a short course truck and the answer is really simple, because I can. I haven't ran the truck too much except for some bashing vids and letting Trex chase it. So I thought, since the number one question that seems to be on pretty much any Facebook group or RC car, truck, monster truck forum is which car is the best, and there really isn't a good answer for that, because it depends on what you want to do, I thought I'd come down here to some of our favorite spots and Snake River Canyon and tool around with the ECX to show you that eh, you don't really have to spend a lot of money to have a good time. Admittedly the short course tires the truck comes with yeah they kind of suck on the rocks but the dirt that the trails made out of it does all right on. I did not lock either differential and I didn't even change the pinion from what it was came out of the box with so it's geared a little high for trailing motor got a little warm earlier but that was after a good probably 40 minutes of running the truck so uh, I hiked over to the big rock which I'm sure everybody remembers from James's low C rolling probably a good 20 30 vertical feet with the GoPro on it in slow-mo we'll put that clip right there <laughs> Everybody remembers that and he managed not to break it so obviously the torment isn't going to climb like the low C night crawler which is a dedicated crawler and it handles good drives good the problem is is it's not very fast so he has to carry it to all the places we crawl whereas the HPI wheelie king what I normally run is fast enough you know about quarter throttle it's about walk how fast we walk so I can just drive it everywhere we go and I have more fun. So, like I said, I brought the ECX out. I got some onboard footage for you. We're gonna go see how far this thing will climb up the rock. I don't expect it to climb at all. It'll probably just sit and spin the tires, but eh, it'll be worth it. But I uh, just came out and walked the trails. They're uh, just mountain bike trails and hiking trails, so they're not well groomed. You could probably actually come out here with a rally car or a buggy and have a good time. The grass is starting to get a little thick now that it's late spring so uh, two-wheel drive and open diffs and even four-wheel drive and open diffs you get a little too far off the track and uh, you're stuck. But yeah just kind of showing you can have a good time with any truck. You know the ECX is under 200 bucks changes the gearing on it and uh, so it's got a little more low-end torque and it'd probably be a fun little trail truck, especially if I can find some better tires. I think I saw somewhere that the small slashes tires will fit it. And I know a few guys have been put a rally car tires on it from a 10 scale rally car. So that'll at least open up my tire options a little bit. I'll have to look into it a little more in the future. But uh, get back to some wheeling and hope you guys have a good one. The video's a little late. Mom came out this weekend to visit, so... I took Monday off so I could do a couple of things. Not really. Just kind of screw around. So that's what I'm doing. Hope you liked the video and we'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Hey, we made it. Better line.
Kind of what I expected, a lot of wheel spin. This is a really light truck. Probably would have just slid if it wasn't for the grass. Right into a hole. <laughs> 